Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this dress from an old men's business shirt. I've used one of my dad's old business shirts, some thin white cotton fabric for lining, and a zipper. Firstly, I made a pattern based on a dress I already own. To do this, place pieces of calico over the dress and trace each piece, marking any darts. Then add the seam allowance. I used another dress pattern to reshape slightly so I would get the exact bodice I wanted. You can go ahead and just use a simple pre-made pattern if you don't want to get this technical. Make up the pattern using the calico, fit to the dressmaker's mannequin and make any changes that need to be made. Then unpick the bodice and you have your pattern pieces ready to be cut out. To get the fabric, you will need to detach both sleeves. I knew I needed as much fabric as possible so I actually unpicked the sleeves rather than cut them off as that allowed me to use the seam allowance as well. Arrange your pattern pieces on the sleeves and cut them out. Do the same on some lining fabric. Mark, pin and stitch any darts or pleats. Then begin assembling your bodice. Make the lining and outer fabric at the same time, this makes the whole process more efficient. Stitch the bodice front to side front and side pieces. Then place the back pieces matching the side seams and shoulder seams and stitch together. Place the lining over the outer fabric right sides together and pin the neck edge. Stitch along the neck edge. To stitch around the armholes, place the bodice right way out. At the underarm seam, turn the outer fabric inwards and do the same for the lining. Pinch this together. Go from underneath at the waistline and pinch the two together at the underarm seam and turn wrong way out. Pin and stitch the armhole around to the right and then around to the left. You won't be able to do this all in one stitch. You have to do this one side and then the other, otherwise it will permanently stitch inside out and you don't want your bodice to be inside out. That never looks good. Up next is the waistband. Waistbands work best when there is some interfacing to stiffen the fabric, so I use the collar pieces to cut my waistband. The collar section already has interfacing which made it quick and easy. Cut the lining waistband as well. Pin and stitch the waistband to the bodice outer fabric and the lining waistband to the lining. Make sure to match the front centre. For the skirt, I used the body of the shirt. Cut from the underarm of the shirt around the circumference to get a skirt shape. As it is already hemmed, you don't have to worry about that, which is excellent in my eyes. I added two more buttons, which I got from the cuff pieces, to the lower edge of the front placard as there were none. I then cut off the buttonhole placard as it was worn out and I overlocked that edge. A pro tip, Leave a long piece of overlocking stitching at the end, use a wide-eyed needle and thread the end of the overlocking back up through the overlocking stitches for a secure and neat finish. Stitch the front edges together. As I'm putting a zipper down the back of my dress, I also need an opening at the back, so cut down the centre back and overlock each of those edges. Stitch this up about halfway. Gather stitch around the top end of the skirt and gather to match the bodice and waistband. Pin and stitch the skirt to the waistband being careful not to catch the lining. Put in an invisible zipper. If you're unsure how to do this, there are loads of videos out there that show you how. Finally, hand stitch the lining, turning in the seam allowance down the zipper and along the waistband. And here is a beautiful summer dress made from an old business shirt, some lining fabric I had lying around, and a zipper I had in my zipper drawer. It cost me nothing, was fun to design, and easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.